I've looked at my timer. It looks like the timer, we're only going to hook it up to these black wires, okay? So, what to do with the neutral wires and the ground wires? Very simple. We're going to connect white to white up and ground to ground. That will maintain our continuity for the entire circuit and that's what we want okay so I'm just gonna again I'm gonna work on the ground wires I want to direct those towards the back of the box okay I'm not even gonna worry myself with these other wires right now okay that looks that looks good like there I can turn that out and because I'm not hooking this up to anything, and I've only got this, I don't need those crimpers for this, do I? No, I don't. I'm just going to cut the ends off so that they're nice and straight at this point. I'm going to put a wire nut on there. That's all I'm doing. Grab me a wire nut. Yellow wire nut will do. Line those up nice and straight. Twizzle this on there. Now, could I have connected those together and twisted them and stuff? You know what? Actually, let's do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna twist these together first in the back. This is gonna be my little insurance policy in case the wire nut ever comes off. It's always important to have all your stuff grounded. So because we've got these ground wires in here, I don't want the wire nut coming off ever. Okay, so I just got a couple little twists in there. Now, I'll go ahead and put that wire nut on in case the wire nut ever comes off, right? Now one's longer than the other because of the twist, so I'm going to cut that off again. Just cut off both of them. Line those back up. Put the wire nut back on there. Just gonna take this, and turn that just a little bit more. You do that too much, you could break the little cap inside. So, okay. Now I'm gonna. Push that up in here. Now this time, because I got this much sticking out, I'm going to roll this twice. So I'm going to do it once right there. I can put my finger back in there, push it back, and roll that up like that. I want that all the way back. I'm trying to keep my fingers off the wall. I'm trying to keep that pushed all the way back there. And because that's ground wires, there's no cable around it. I could take my pliers and kind of push that back in there if I need to, like that. Okay? Let's see here. We can resituate that back behind these wires a little better. There. Okay, that's better. Okay? Now, we'll get the black wires out of the way. Situate those, keep those out of the way for right now. And I gotta connect. Still want that loop on there. Now I've gotta connect these two white wires. Now this curly cue doesn't matter anymore in this white wire because I know where I've gotta hook that up. I just have to hook it up to this other white wire, right? Okay, so. Resituate those a little bit. Like that. And I'll cut those to length. Well, about the same length as what I did on the ground wires. And I don't know what that is. But let's see, five inches or so. You know, plenty in case you ever have to get back to the box and work on it. Okay. I'm going to take that and strip that back about a half an inch or so. 
Now, if you get one too long, you could always trim it. Those look about right. This one looks just a hair long. I can just, that's fine, just trim off the tip. You know, hold it up there. Still looks just a hair long. Okay. This one's got just a slight bend in it. I'm gonna straighten that a little. Let me direct my, see I can, I can bend the wire too. I just wanna keep those together, okay? Take another wire nut, a yellow. I don't need reds, because the yellows are smaller and it fits everything back in the box. The red, if you didn't have a yellow, could you use a red? Yeah, you could. I'm just trying to gain any little bit of an edge inside this box that I can, right? Because this, uh, this timer is pretty thick. It's got a deep body. See here, see how thick that is? I've got to shove that all the way in there without hitting any of these wires back in there. You know, as I was telling you, they have deeper cut-in boxes. I could have used a deeper cut-in box. Then I wouldn't have to be so careful. Okay, but now this one here too, because I'm out this long, I'm gonna wrap it twice. Now, do you wanna cut it you know, real close, put the wire nut there and then, and then push that straight up. You could do that, but you want to be nice to the next electrician or somebody who's going to work on this box. You want to give yourself enough wire so that you don't have to feel like you're right up here tight, you know, with the work. Okay. Bend that halfway, push that in there, redirect my wires in here a little bit. Push that to the back of the wall back of the box like that okay good now there was two wires left we're almost done with this just about ready to install this timer and uh, just wanted to show you a couple things out of here let's see what this comes with Okay, there's two screws here to mount this to the box. Now I've got uh, two other screws right here. Now those go inside here, and there's a definite place where those fit. I gotta fish those down in there and tighten those up, and then the wires go into the side there. Then this cover plate fits on like that. And then there's this little nut here looks like that you're gonna have to use that that's kind of funky that's what they give you I'll have to use that very carefully it looks like okay I put it on that's what holds that okay and then you put the timer button on and there's a definite area where it goes. This is round and it's got a flat top. And on the inside, it's round and it's got a flat top. So this can only go on one way. You push that on there like that. And then you can use the timer just like that, okay? And incidentally, see that? It says turn past. So each time you turn it on, there's one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. Two and a half hours would be right in there, two hours and 15 minutes, whatever. But you can't just turn it on for like say 15 minutes or so. You've got to turn it past there to get the spring-loaded tension to start up. But then it will go all the way past that to shut off, okay? So if you want it on for any increments of an hour, if you don't want it on for an hour, say a half hour, you've got to make sure you turn it past that little mark right there. Okay, so that's how that's going to work. So what we got to do is I got to fish these down in there 
And I don't think it really matters which way that goes. Just got to drop that down in and make sure I can get that tight. I think I got it set. There, it's went. Then I can look on the back side and see that it's all the way down in there. So then, see what I have to do is unscrew that enough to allow to poke the wire in there. Okay, so that's how that works. 